everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a special episode. We're going to be talking about heat pressing, a professional setup, and how that works for me. Now, if you watched my channel before, you know that I'm huge into tools. In fact, that's what my channel is dedicated to, home improvement and tools. Well, over the past few months, I've gotten, gotten into merchandise uh, such as shirts, hats, and different things like that. Well, in order for me to do that, it's taken quite a bit of effort. Uh, I've gotten to graphic design, um, and then actually producing the products. And today, that's what we're going to be talking about, is producing the products. Um, this is a professional heat press. This is made by, I'm going to mispronounce this, Wu Beffy. Um, I'll link it down in the bottom. That's the retailer. But this is a Dream Van heat press. Now, it's a 15 by 12 inch heat press. It's professional. The plates change out. You don't only have just a flat heat press that you would use for shirts and things of the like. But you also have, you can also press tumblers. This is the tumbler press. But this is removable, so you can change the insert out here. So you can do mugs. This is a different mug size. And then here you actually have a smaller mug size. This is a slip in and out into this holster here. So this is a small mug. This is a large mug. And these are angled mugs right here, so you can see uh, the V-shape on that and the taper towards the bottom. Inside, this is a heating pad, and this can heat up very hot. I believe this goes up to 450 degrees. Uh, then also, you can heat press plates or something a little bit smaller. It doesn't necessarily have to be plates, uh, but you have two different sizes here as well. Uh, you can use these for patches on the on arms that would work out fine, so you don't have a lot of heat spread. You have more of a focused heat on the side of there. As we take a closer look at the heat press itself, <clears throat> it has a lever that comes down and it presses. This compresses the springs here. That gives you the pressure that you need onto the shirt or the material that you're pressing. It also spins all the way out of the way, which is really nice. So you can get to whatever material you have, but this also slides out and it slides out pretty far too. So you have a nice working space. Uh, this also comes with two different pads, and this is for protection of the garments and heat protection of the bottom plate itself. Um, so you have a lot of options here. You On the back side, as we have this turned around, you do have a uh, locking bolt right here. And then, make sure that's loose. And on the back side, you can turn this, and this sets the pressure. So this brings the whole heat press up or down, and that's how you set the pressure on if you want a higher pressure or a lower pressure onto the material that you're pressing. Um, right here, let's spin this around. You can see that this is the plug right here, so you spin this off. It's very simple. Make sure that the switch is off to the unit. It's not on when you do this. And now the heat press is uh, <coughs> disconnected and you can change this out. And how you change this out, it's very simple. You have two Phillips screws. You pull the plate forward and it slides right off. So it's very simple. It comes off from at this point. Uh, now that that's off, you can take, this is one of the plate presses. You can put it up underneath in the same fashion. It slides right in without any issues. And then from here, all you need to do is connect the power right here through the connector. You slide it in, you spin the tightening nut on, you turn on the unit, and then you can set your heat. So it's very simple, it's very easy, and it's approachable to use this. And to take it off, you just reverse, pull this out, just pull this down, and then you can put your next attachment. We're not going to be pressing a plate today, so I'm just showing you what this looks like from here. Um, I do want to press a shirt real quick, so let's go through the process of setting the heat, the high and the low, and then the time. We'll press a shirt and let's see how that turns out. Get all the wrinkles out. Okay, so now we're going to set our heat. Let's zoom in just a little bit so you can see this. So we turn it on on the side. Right here is the power button. This is an overload switch here that you can reset if this ever has an overload. Now, what we want to do here is we want to hit the mode button, and this is where we set our temperatures at. So right now this is set at 295 for the low temperature. You know what? I think that's okay. We're going to leave it there. Now for the high, it's set at 302. What I want to do, I want it to be 310. 
and this is the proper temperature for the uh, vinyl that I'm using to press this on. Now if we hit mode again, that's going to go to the time. Uh, the 20 second time is perfect, I don't need to change that, so I'm going to hit mode again. And now what this is going to do, it's going to go into a heat up mode. I'm going to go ahead and slide the shirt under here, and it's going to have enough room just to sit there. It's not, it's not going to hurt anything, it's not going to hurt the shirt. And this is going to go through its heat up process. Now, this is going to stop at the lower temperature. If I hit this play button here, it's going to go to the higher temperature. Once it hits a higher temperature, it's going to beep, and then the timer's going to start timing down. When it gets to the bottom of the 20 seconds or the end of the 20 seconds, then the machine's going to shut off, go to the lower temperature, so that you can pull your garment out, and then if you need to put a new garment in, you can most certainly do that. Okay, so we're up to 297 right now. I'm going to go ahead and pre-press this and preheat it. I do that just for a couple seconds here. That should be just fine. Now we're not up to the temperature I want to be at. So what I'm going to do, I want to first get this set. And this is the tool brand. that I support so let's just make sure it's centered we get it down here okay okay so it's here it's on now I'm gonna hit the play button if you will it's gonna heat up once it gets to the temperature of 310 then we're gonna press it the timer is gonna start and then it'll tell us when it's done all right, so now it's at 300. Actually, I'll just maybe you can see it here. 302, 303, 304. I'm just going to get this into place and get ready. Nine and ten. Here we go. Timer started. Okay, now the temperature starting to drop. The timer's there. Our press is done. We can get the shirt out from underneath. And that's all it took. Now this is a warm release, so our peel. So we're gonna take that and we're just gonna peel it just like this. And there you go, that's all it took in order to create the shirt. Now we have a couple other things to make, so let's go ahead and delve into that. Okay, so now we're going to press uh, the tumbler. So we're going to get this into the bracket system here, the press system. And it's pretty easy, it just slides right in here, then we'll slide it into here. Okay, then we'll press it forward. Okay, so now it's in. It's pretty simple, all you need to do is unscrew the heat press plate. You'll plug in right here the tumbler press plate. So let's turn on the power. We do need to reset the temperature as well so we'll go to mode and we are going to the lower temperature at 295 is fine. Uh, 310 it needs to be at 302 so we'll set that mode again and this needs to be 10 seconds and not 20 seconds mode again so it's going to set that up it's in okay so now it's on
Okay, so now what we want to do is set this up for the hat, hat pressing. So we're going to take this off. I'm going to use these pads to set it down on top of. We're going to move this out of the way. We're going to pull it out and in order to get this off there is a little thumb screw underneath here. I'll show you in just a second. You have to loosen it. Okay, so this slides right off, but as I said, this goes right here and this actually holds it on. It has a bracket on the back that it holds it to. Eat that paper. Now for the hat pressing stand, this slides right in the bottom. Just like that. And now we're going to attach the hat pressing here. Make sure that your power cord goes towards the back. We'll need to raise this up. Make sure it's centered. that is centered. Go ahead and press it down so it stays in place. Okay, so it's there. Here we go. We're going to press down. Okay, so that should be good. I'm going to pull it up. Let's pull it out. To remove the hat, we'll shut the heat off here. So it looks like it got a really good seal. It's a warm peel, so that's fine. Go ahead and peel this off. So there you go. Okay, everybody, so that's it. I was able to press the shirt. I was able to press the hat. I was able to press on the tumbler itself and the reason why we're doing a press on the tumbler instead of just using the permanent vinyl adhesive is because it does actually stick a little bit better. It's more resistant to heat as well. Um, so that's really nice to be able to provide that. Um, and to have a hat press that can go all the way across the hat and to press these in works out really well and I think it provides a better product for people more durable as well. So I hope that everybody enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you'd like one of these, jump down into the description. You'll see a link where you can pick one up for yourself. And I hope to see you next time. Take care, everybody.